long-lasting lip liner and it's named very wisely because it is incredibly long-lasting. We've used esters and also volatile silicones which really adhere to the lips. Now you have got a little time in which to soften and blend but once the lip liner has really adhered to the mouth it's there until you take it off in the evening with your makeup remover. Now you always marry your lip liner to your lip colour that way when you lose your lipstick or your lip gloss on your coffee cup or your wine glass you're left with a natural line rather than the colour of the lipstick or the lip liner which doesn't look at all natural. Now I've chosen a slightly warmer, deeper colour because we're going to go for a warmer, deeper lip, but I'm not going for very strong lips because the eyes are quite strong. Working on the outside of the mouth first, always keep the mouth closed because that gives A, an easier line to draw, but also it means that you're getting really the idea of the mouth. I think there's a big fear of people using lip liner because they, they remember particularly from the 80s of this very hard line around the outside of the mouth. But if you use a very modern pencil, and then, as I am, you fill it in with the side of the pencil in the inner part of the lips. You're going to end up with a very soft line. Now, this is particularly important with anybody who maybe has got lines around their mouth, maybe because of smoking, maybe because of age, or just because they've got dry lips. And it's going to stop the lipstick bleeding or feathering out onto the skin. But as you can see, it's incredibly natural. So that color is going to last all day, you're not going to be left with a very hard colour which doesn't match the lip colour at all. Now the other secret with lip liner, to really make an upper lip look stronger, to make it look fuller, don't bring the lip pencil to the outer corner of the mouth. If you do that, you actually elongate the mouth. And what we want to do, with beautiful mouth here, but most of us would rather have a slightly fuller mouth. So by really enhancing the cupid's bow, working on the outer line of the lip, but as you can see, I'm finishing short of the corner of the mouth, but on the lower mouth, the lower lip, I am bringing it to the corner. And that's a really cheats, easy way of making the upper lip look fuller than it is. Just very lightly, because this is a natural look, all I'm going to do this time is just draw around the outside of your mouth, just to make sure that we've got the lip line as it should be. And I'm using the shade Rolled, which is completely lip coloured, because as I'm sure you know, you should never match your lip liner to your lipstick. You should always match your lip liner to your lip colour. When your lipstick wears off, or your lip gloss wears off, you're left with a line of colour, which doesn't look at all natural. Whereas if you use a lip liner that matches your lip colour exactly, you're not going to have that problem, because when the lipstick wears off, then you've got your own natural colour lasting underneath. 